Nate Patterson Solo Productions. We're here at St. John's Congregational Church and we have all, I'm being photobombed in the back by one of the uh, candidates. Uh, we're here at St. John's in Springfield on uh, Hancock Street for the school committee debate. And from what I'm understanding, we also are gonna have some city council members here. And uh, I think they just put the two together. Uh, this is gonna be a big event. We got still got people piling in. And uh, we get a chance to find out just exactly what these candidates are about. Uh, hear their platforms, get to ask a few questions, you know, and get a feel as to uh, who you're going to be voting for uh, in this uh, this year's uh, election. This is, um, I believe, the primary. Uh, there are a lot of people that are incumbents or they're already in office that are not here or don't have to run, right? So they don't really have to say anything. But these should be the new crew, the new school right here. Okay, so I'm going to be behind the camera. I won't be able to uh, ask my hard questions, which are generally easy if you know what you're talking about. So uh, with that, we're going to uh, get started right here at St. John's Con uh, Congregational Church. And uh, I'll be back on the flip side. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is certainly a joy to see each of you tonight, and I want to thank you so very much for taking your time to be with us this evening. My name is Calvin McFadden. I have the wonderful pleasure of serving as senior pastor of St. John's Congregational Church. And on behalf of the officers and members of this church, we welcome you uh, to our place of worship. Also, on behalf of the uh, Massachusetts Association, Women of Color Association, as well as the Association of Black Businesses and Professionals, in collaboration with St. John's, we are delighted to have you as we come together to have a discussion as well as to hear from these persons who are running for political offices in our community. We believe that it's important for us to have these discussions so that we know for whom we're voting, the platforms for whom, for those that uh, will be before us today, and in order for us to rise to the challenges that and the opportunities that our communities are facing, we feel it's important to hear the hearts of people as well as what they plan to do and how they plan to do it. Particularly in this day and time when we see so much chaos going on in our senior leadership, we need to make sure that we have folks right in our local community who have our hearts, who have the best interests of the people of our city, and we believe that the folks who are running tonight, uh, who are candidates tonight, will express themselves in the best way possible. We may not always agree, but we need to come together for different perspectives to make sure that we are advancing a common goal for the common people. I will tell you, friends, uh, some people have asked why did not we have uh, everyone who's running for political office. And as I shared with my congregation recently, we felt that it was important for those persons who are new to the political process and who are first time runners uh, to be able to express themselves because those who indeed have already been elected to office, uh, they may have talked the talk, but we hope that they've been walking the walk. And there's no need uh, to hear them talk more if they've not been walking the walk. And so tonight, we believe that these candidates that are before us are going to share with us how they plan, indeed, to walk their talk. And also, uh, one of the things that we want to remind our candidates tonight, as you've already been instructed, uh, as a political, a former political official, we have to know how to be on time and stay within our time. And so tonight will be a wonderful practice for you to do that. Uh, so on behalf, again, of these wonderful organizations who come together, thank you for being here tonight. I'm sure it's going to be a time of fruitful discussion. Would you please join me in welcoming our moderator for this evening? She is Assistant Professor of Education at the University of Massachusetts. Dr. Keisha Green. Would you give her a warm welcome tonight? Good evening. Well, you can do that with really your like Pastor says. Good evening. Good evening. This is an exciting and important time. Uh, we get an opportunity to hear from our candidates. So uh, my job simply is to keep us moving. So I won't talk that long. I just want to let you know what the format will be. Tonight, 
The candidates have already received the questions. Everyone received an email. So everyone's gotten a list of the full questions before tonight, but they won't know what question they'll get, right? So we have questions in bold and they'll be selected, and so they'll be selected at random, just so that we have an even playing field and it's pretty fair tonight, no bias, okay? Good with that? I want to hear a little bit more energy. So everyone has uh, a little bit of an introduction so we know who our candidates are. We're going to spend one minute per candidate, that's one minute per candidate, to introduce themselves in that one minute and then we'll have a seat up front and then after that we'll get to the questions. It is very important that we um, find out what exactly we are all about, and you guys need to know that so you have an informed decision when you get to the polls. Um, as a history teacher, one of the things I try to convey to my students was it's important that you get involved in the process, and I couldn't be more pleased to have, well maybe not totally pleased, but two students, two former students that I've worked with, uh, Josiah Gonzalez from Sci Tech High School, we had many political discussions, it's running, so he, got, he must have heard the bug and caught it. And also Ryan Hess, who I worked with uh, over at Cathedral High School, my brother and I. Uh, Ryan right now, by the way, is, has the tremendous responsibility of being a parent. And a lot of people ask me, well, are you a parent? Well, actually I tell people, you know, I am a parent. I'm a parent of all my students. And I'd like to increase my family by about 25,000 this year. Mm. Well, my name is James Anziano, and I am the trade school candidate. No. I believe our students need to become self-sufficient. We need to make them self-sufficient upon graduation. This notion that everyone's going to college is foolish. The kids don't buy into it, and we need to do something about it. All my years of teaching, all the wonderful students here in Springfield, the city of Springfield, at SciTech High School, I taught a lockup facility, they warm my heart to this cause of our students. And I promise that I will never make a decision that is not in their best interest. I will cut the red tape that stands in the way of common sense ideas that bring innovative things to help out our city. Please remember to vote. I'd like to thank Pastor, Pastor McFadden and the Association of Black Business Professionals for inviting us here tonight. As a former member and a founding member of the ABBP, it's good to be here. My name is Lamar Cook. I'm a candidate for school committee at large. Uh, as a parent of three boys in the Springfield School District, I'm personally invested in our school district. The decisions that I make as a school committee member will personally affect my family, as well as the 26,000 uh, school uh, students and Springfield Public Schools. Also, as a resident, I'm personally invested in our, our city. I believe that ending the violence in our city, as well as uh, improving our schools, are closely related. Uh, studies show that 80% of folks who are incarcerated are illiterate. And studies also show that uh, your indication, your performance in school is a big indicator of how you perform later in life. My goal as your candidate is to educate, graduate, and have everyone succeed in life. Thank you, and good evening, everybody. Good evening. It's third good evening tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I, first of all, I just want to uh, thank and, and, and um, uh, Dr. Uh, Calvin McFadden, personal friend, uh, and the uh, congregation, and, and all, everybody involved putting this uh, organization together uh, for the candidates tonight. My name is Jim Ferreira. I'm a candidate for school committee at large. Uh, by way of background, I'm a lifelong resident of the city of Springfield, uh, grew up here, educated here. Um, I work for the uh, Massachusetts Trial Court, Office of Community Corrections. I've served in the city council before as your city councilor and as your city council president twice. Um, it would be an honor and a privilege to serve as your school committee member. Thank you.
My name is Daryl Moss. I'm one of the co-founders of the Springfield Indie Soul Festival. The Springfield Indie Soul Festival takes place Saturday, August 26th in the beautiful King Phillips Stockade in Forest Park. We strongly encourage you to come out and celebrate life in the 80s with us. We have two amazing performers. We have Allison Williams. We have Melissa Morgan. We know you remember them. We have some incredibly talented performers right here in our own backyard. We have Malik James, we have Donnie Wright, we have Tom Bolden, Sierra Gamble, and a whole lot more. We have workshops, vendors, food, art, you name it, we have it. We strongly encourage you to come on out, bring the whole family, children under 12 are free. So come on out, have a good time with us. This is your personal invitation. Uh, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm probably one of the youngest candidates running, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to be unapologetic about it. My name is Josiah Gonzalez, and I'm running for Springfield School Committee at large. One of the reasons why I'm running is since the age of 14, I've been an advocate in my school. I would contact the superintendent, school committee members in regards to issues that us as students faced, and none of them would ever get back to me. There's an issue with that. So naturally, I come as an advocate because I believe that we need to stand up for the little guys. That's why I've made my slogan simple, students before politics. Oftentimes in this city, the students have been marginalized and set aside. As a graduate of Springfield Public Schools, I am connected and understand the issues that our students face. That is why I'll promote safety, equity, and student success in our city. For the students of Springfield are the future of our great city. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Zeta Govan, and I am running for school committee in wards 2 and 8. That's District 4. That's if you live in East Springfield and Indian Orchard, you can vote for me. And the reason you would want to vote for me is because I'm running for school committee to focus on the children. I believe that our children deserve the best school system possible. They best deserve the best high quality education possible. And I believe that we as a city can give it to them. So please consider voting for me on November, not September, <laughs> November. <laughs> and vote for me for a school committee in which 2 and 8, District 4. Thank you. My name is Ryan Hess. Uh, I'm a uh, citizen of East Forest Park and I'm running for school committee at large. Uh, I decided to run for school committee because I believe I can make a real contribution to the benefit of our city's most important asset, our children. Three key areas that I'm very focused on this summer and will be focused on starting in January are fiscal discipline, school safety, and parental engagement. I'm a product of Springfield Public Schools and professionally today I'm a vice president of corporate lending at People's United Bank right in downtown Springfield. My professional experience working with large businesses positions me well to make real contributions to budgeting and funding problems that the schools face every day. I'm also the very proud father of two beautiful little girls, Lydia and Nora. My number one priority as a father is to keep them safe and I will always work to keep our students safe. Lastly, students succeed if they have a community surrounded uh, to help them and the parents will do that as well. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you. And I'm running for five reasons. Naomi, Melody, Patience, Mott D. And the fifth, fifth reason is to advocate for all of those students that don't have someone to advocate on their behalf. I want to bring the fun and enthusiasm back to the 
the schools increase community partnerships and uh, supports in all schools and I want to make sure that there's a safe teaching and learning environment in all schools my work through uh, the United Way and as well as my history of working in youth development for the past 20 years has qualified me to do what I plan to do I've done it my t-shirts say keep calm and Google me and that's what you need to do to see what I've done and what I'm going to continue to do for our Springfield Public Schools. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Dr. Stephanie Murchison Brown. Um, I'm running for uh, school committee, District 2, Wards 4 and 5. And I have over 20 years of teaching experience. And I know firsthand the issues that we deal with in the classroom and what we deal with graduating children or students who don't have the intellect to go to college or to be work able. I want to make sure that our children are able to be vested in this community and have the opportunities that they need. Thank you and vote for me. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm Giselle Vizcarando. Thank you, Pastor Ms. Fine. Thank you everyone that put this together for us. Um, I'm running for Springfield School Committee District 2, Ward 4 and 5, because I believe that every child should come first. I also believe that the child we send out should be the child we get in return. They shouldn't be coming back in cuffs, brain damage, and other issues. I want to hold the schools accountable, and I want to hold us accountable as parents. So please put a parent in the school committee. Thank you. minute mark and he'll bell. At 50 minutes, uh, 50 seconds, excuse me, you hear them? Not 50 minutes. We don't want to be here that long. My apologies. An hour. An hour, right? At 50 seconds you hear the bell and then you have 10 seconds to wrap up. Good evening everyone. All right, my name is Ernesto Cruz and I have dedicated the last seven years of my life to public service. Uh, a lot of you have seen me quietly go to just about every event uh, possible. I've been involved in many community initiatives and uh, if, you, if you don't know, ask someone I think that you'll get a, a good, good sense of who I am. Uh, furthermore, I've been working in government, most recently working at the Massachusetts State Legislature, learning how to work with the budget, learning how to pass legislation, learning how to help people. So, uh, furthermore, one thing that's really important to me is independence. I don't owe anybody anything. I'm here for the community. I want to help people get connected to the city. It's all about building bridges and it's all about democracy. So if there's any way that we can legislate democracy into the system, that's what I'm all about. And you'll see it through my actions. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Peter Dalio. I am running for the Springfield City Council of Law. Thank you to Pastor Rafael and St. John's Baptist Church for doing this uh, wonderful event. So, my friends, I live in Forest Park with my wife Sonia. I have a 21 year old son and my two football terriers, Rocky and Romeo. I am uh, a small business owner. I'm also a licensed private in uh, Springfield and uh, Holyoke. And I go to Holy Name Church and so minister the Eucharist there. My friends, Springfield is a great city. Like any other city, we have our challenges. We must continue to ensure that we know our blight and vacancy throughout the city. This is why I have proposed a vacant registration ordinance to tackle the issue of vacant housing and blight throughout the city. My friends, I am running for the Springfield City Council at large because I love Springfield. When I came to Springfield, I slept in shelters, ate at food pantries, and spoke no English. Now the Lord has given me a wife, a business, wonderful friends. I look forward to the forum. Thank you and God bless. Drugs or whatever, right? 
And I think about that 18 year old, five years ago was in our school system. Where did we go wrong? What's giving us the vibe that made him go in that direction? What did we go wrong? Because of that, and because of all that, I'm accepting the nomination for uh, the candidacy of school committee in Washington. Willoughby Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. I'm sitting with the illustrious, the one and only sister my aunt, wife of the late Dr. Shady. And uh, the whole thing is, is keeping the legacy alive. Sister my aunt will be in strength for gracing us with her presence on August 27th at the Garden of Eden Organic Cafe. Sis, welcome, and it's an honor and a pleasure. We finally made it. We want to keep the legacy, continue the legacy. Sebi is sending me love letters, and he sent a message saying, Ma'a, continue the legacy. So the other part, one little part that I'm going to always do now is a toast to Sebi in honor of Sebi. say is that I'm a friend of Miss Naylor and all of those of you who jumped up and shouted for her, I've committed my vote to her, so you vote for me. Okay? That's how this works. Now, my name is Kevin Dumpson. I'm running for city councilor of Ward 3. And um, as I stated in my less than 25 words or so, I'm I'm just a candidate for social justice. I believe everyone in this city should have an equal opportunity at the same quality of life. You shouldn't have potholes on Pine Street and smooth, smooth pavement out on Allen Street or someplace else. So, so I'm talking about quality of life issues, okay? So uh, that's what I'm standing on. I'm not about big machines, and uh, you'll hear more from me later. But uh, I think our tax dollars should go to serving the constituents. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Marilyn Felix, and I'm running for city council at large. I was born and raised here in the city of Springfield. I bought my house here when I was 25 years old, and I live there today 23 years later. Now you know my age. I'm running for city council because I believe that I can do a better job than the city councilors that are on the city council today. I believe that because I have experience in the um, real estate development field. I worked for a company for 15 years and I also most recently am working for a uh, housing authority in a local, in a, another town. 
where I manage their budget, a $1.5 million budget, and I think that we need people on the city council that know how to read a budget and know where the money comes from and where it goes. Thank you. Association of uh, Black Business Professionals. Um, this isn't my first time in this church. I try to make it here every Sunday. So I want to say welcome home to myself and welcome you to St. John's. Come back and visit us. Really why I'm running is because it's really important to have a voice on the council that knows the city. I was born and raised in this city. I dropped out of its local schools and I also attended Ivy League school in New York City. So I gave back to my community. I was a leader. I was a leader of a nonprofit organization that created College of Access and Success. A lot of young people out there need jobs but they need to know how to get those jobs. A lot of parents want houses, but we gotta help you um, get those houses, help our kids get educated, and make a safe environment for everyone to learn, live, work, and play. So I'm here tonight to share my new vision for Ward 4. Part of being a city councilor is showing up, and I promise you I will show up and do my job. So thank you, and remember, vote for Gaines means Springfield Gaines. Let's go. Thank you. The rest of the uh, St. John's team and for hosting us. Hello, good evening. My name is Matthias Galvin and I'm running for City Council for Ward 3. I decided to run because I realized that Springfield, like any city, is not just a collection of streets, it's not just a series of issues, it's not just the crises that are on us now and the opportunities we have. It's an ecosystem. It's an opportunity for presenting and then executing a vision that we, as a city council, could ultimately create an environment where there are better opportunities for industry, that businesses, both small and large, can form, that families have access to better school systems and better municipal works, like, like parks, and ultimately good streets and infrastructure. Anyway, there's a dream that is Springfield, and we all can make it work into the city we want to have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you're taking notes. husband, an engaged father to three children, and a homeowner in East Springfield. My name is Ken C. Gillette, and I'm running for City Council in Ward 2, because I believe the most important resource for our community are the families in it. I'm running because I envision my children growing up in Springfield, getting their first job in Springfield, going on their first day in Springfield, and I want to make sure that our community is prepared to provide them all the opportunities that I had growing up. I am a psychotherapist with River Valley Counseling Center, and I see the impacts of what's happening with the opioid crisis in our communities. I see the lack of response from the, the leaders that we just elected into office, and I, like so many of you, have lamented over the lack of response between election years. So that that we do it this year, see if we do next year. I'm running because I believe if you put Springfield families first, then Springfield will, will be successful. Strong families build strong communities. Thank you. My name is Rob Kelly. I'm one of the city council to represent Ward 4, this very community here. Uh, Ten years ago when I graduated from college, uh, I began what I believe was what I was called to do. And I was to come back here and serve this community. Um, it started um, as a working at the local community centers, volunteering my time as a coach, uh, then as an educator here at the at our, within our public school system, uh, then as a high school administrator. Um, five years ago, I started a program called College Balanced Student Athletes. We work with student athletes here in our community, provide, provide them academic support, assistance, mentorship, training, and our goal is to try to make all of them collegiate athletes one day. But more importantly, to keep them engaged in school. What I want to do is basically just continue that level of service at the political level. Uh, part of what I've seen is there has not been a ton of advocacy and a ton of visibility by our current city council members, at least that represent this ward. I would like to change that. 